Indianapolis bar now taking a special precaution when it serves drinks. It's because the bar manager says multiple women have reported feeling drugged there. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson finds out what the bar is doing to protect its customers and talks to experts about what everyone should be aware of. A night out at M by Bar downtown in March turned troublesome after multiple women reported feeling drugged there, according to the bar manager. Now its bartenders are putting lids on cups when serving in efforts to make customers feel safe. The fear of being drugged is widespread. Forensic nurse for IU Health Julie Morrison says hospitals aren't seeing a high volume of patients feeling drugged, but it takes these allegations seriously. Morrison says there are several different date rape drugs out here that makes testing difficult. So we don't check for that class of drugs normally. If somebody would come in and they're awake and talking, what we would do is maybe keep blood and urine from them and then if and when they involve law enforcement, law enforcement would take those specimens into their possession and they would send them off to be tested. But that doesn't happen very often. It really doesn't. Another big problem with these drugs is that they metabolize out of your system so quickly. To avoid these concerns, keep your drink with you at all times. When in doubt, pour it out. It's worth the money to buy a new drink when you return uh, versus uh, having a bad experience. Behind the bar with every shake, mix and pour. Lead instructor of Midwest Bartender School, Cliff Raleigh and his staff teach hundreds of bartenders how to properly serve drinks, and not put themselves in a position to be accused of a crime. The very first day of class is we build drinks on the front bar. So I'll build them in plain view of the guests. Make sure you never turn your back to the guest with a glass in your hand or build a drink underneath the bar where the guests would lose sight of that glass. So we want to make sure they always have a visual on it. We don't want our bartenders or their employers to ever be drug into any type of legal issue. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTB. Morrison says while date rate drugs aren't as common across Indianapolis, overserved alcohol is the health care provider's biggest concern. Morrison says it's easier to buy excessive drinks for someone versus buying drugs on the street to put in drinks. Well, tonight we spoke to an expert about some of the signs and symptoms that could indicate you've been drugged. According to IU Health, you may experience a more intense level of intoxication. That means you could feel dizzy and lightheaded. You may even feel euphoric. Many people who have been drugged have reported reported waking up with a lack of memory about what happened before they went to sleep. If you think you've been drugged, you are encouraged to go to the hospital or call police.